Oh, hey! I bet you would like to learn how to start a lanyard. Well, I'm going to show you how. Two colors. I'm going to take one of each, and then I'm going to cut them about arm's length. Uh oh, this is kind of tight. Like so. It's best to make a really big mess. So, <laughs> you have your two colors. Find the middle of the two colors, like so. Then, you will form an X with those two colors, like that. What you're going to do is with the bottom color, in this case it's the orange, or in French, orange. And then, you take one of them, loop it towards you. Take the other side, loop it away from you. So it should look like this. Now, I usually will pinch it with my index finger and my thumb like this so I can keep it in place, even though it's not staying in place. You have your two loops like this. I'll use my other fingers like that to hold the loops there. Now, I'm going to take my blue one, and I'm going to go over the first loop and under the second loop. But be sure that when you put it under the second loop, you're putting it on the closed side. What I mean by that is one side is open like this, and one side is closed. You want to put it over on the closed side like this, because if you put it on the open side, it's just going to slip right out and fall. So it needs to stay on the closed side. Then you're going to take the other one and go over the first loop, under the second loop. And this one will also be on the closed side, like so. If it was over here, it would slip out. Then you're going to take one of each color in both your hands and slowly pull them together like this. And it will make a beautiful knot like this one. And then you can make a lanyard! Oh, hi! Didn't see you there. So now that you know how to do a two-string lanyard, let's try three! I'll take my three colors and I usually cut them about arm's length again. So I take these three, cut them arm's length, except one of the three colors needs to be a little bit longer. So I'll snip two of them and cut this one about that much longer. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your string that you made longer, find the middle points, like so. Put it over your finger like this, and then you're going to take one of them and drape it over one more time so it looks like this. You see? Do you see? Okay. Now, I'm going to take one of these two colors and I'm going to slip it underneath both of these little loops that I got here so it looks like that. Then you're going to pull it through until you find that middle point in that color as well. Like so. Now, I'm going to take one end and put it over the first loop and under the second loop like I started the last one and make sure again that you're putting it underneath the one that's the closed side. See how this side's open? If I put it over like this then it's just gonna slip underneath. So I'm gonna put it over the first loop, under the second loop and the one that I put it over like that and underneath that's gonna be on the closed side so it's got nowhere to go. Then I'm gonna take the other one I'm gonna go over and under. Pick your next color and you're going to do the same thing. Put it all the way underneath both loops like so. Find the middle points like this. Then you're going to go over and under the same way that you did with the yellow one. Like this. Over. Under. On the same side you did last time first. So that was the closed side. So we're going to do that side first again. And then, take this one, go over and under on the closed side, on the other side, like this. Here's where it gets a little bit tricky. You're going to sneak your finger out like this, and it's going to look like that. Now, what I want you to do is notice that your two colors that you put underneath are going this way and that way. And the one that you first used to wrap around your finger is going this way and that way. I don't know if you can see that. Mm -hmm. Now... You are going to pull these two this way 
and you're going to pull the black one this way and slowly kind of shimmy it together and then it will form your three string lanyard. If you want to do a four string or a five string, it's the same idea. All you have to do is add another string. Yay! One day you can be just like me. <laughs>